Hi, I'm Jackie Topa, and I'm going to be showing you how to make this magnetic fridge set. Um, these are all little magnets that go on the fridge bar magnet with uh, the small beveled window, a magnetic pin cushion, and we have a pen holder, and it has designer series paper to match our little our little fridge magnet, and this is our magnetic uh, notepad. So I'm going to be showing you how to do all these projects. They're pretty quick and easy, so you could do them all in one class if you wanted. I'm going to show you how to make some button magnets. I took some magnetic sheets and the circles die, number two die, and I cut out some one-inch circles from the magnetic sheets. And then I just took some of the, the big designer buttons. And all you have to do is peel off your circles and stick them on the back so it's quick and easy and they go nice with with our other stuff. There, just line them up and that's it. Take your magnetic sheet and I'm going to put my beveled window on there and just trace it so I know where to cut. I'm going to cut inside the lines because I don't want it sticking out past. We'll do that on the front. Let's peel the corner a little bit till it gets started. And you can stick your beveled window to that. It'll be hard to line it up now because it's sticky. There. I'll take my bone folder and just kind of make sure that stands in there nice. show from the front. I just love this um, seam binding. It's so soft and easy to work with. I need help. Oh. Yeah. I took a two inch by two inch piece and I used the square lattice folder and I'm going to put a piece of sticky strip along one side. in a pen. What I did, I want it nice and tight so I rolled the pen in it. And then just squished it down there. I'm going to squish that as flat as I can. And I think I will use more sticky strip that on the back. Another piece of line there. sticky strip on there. And 
my magnet. Just line that up with the back. There. Now, this was just an inexpensive pen that I got at Staples. But I like these ones because it just undoes. So I've got a little, I think you want to, just a little piece of designer series paper. Okay, that one's long enough. About, maybe about a half an inch wide. And just put a little bit of snail on your strip. And I just put one side on. Oops. So I think I'll go to the bottom of where the ink starts, and that should be a good spot. And stuff it back in. Might be a little tighter. Screw the cap back on. And I have a nice matching pin. So I'll put that back in there. And that can go on our fridge. I'm always having trouble finding notepads that will stay on my fridge because the back always falls off. So what I'm going to do, I think I only need, I'll cut a small strip just because it's already there. <laughs> it's about an inch and a half wide. Is that a little bit too long? That should be good. I'm just going to use the front for the back because it's an ugly color. So that'll stay on my fridge. Make sure you get it near the top because that's where you're going to be pulling when you rip your paper off. So the front is white. And I think I'll use my cutter. And I'm going to cut that. Um, I'm just going to cut it up as far as it ends up being about an inch. And I think I'll cut a little piece of... Well, I think I'm going to scallop the edge of that. Oops. I'll just snug that up. The edges. I'm just going to take some pieces of ribbon, or of seam binding actually, and just tie some little knots. And stamp some of my papers. Okay, you're going to need some cotton. Um, batting mine's fairly thick. Uh, four inch circle cut from fabric and um, two inch circle from the magnetic sheets and from chipboard. So I've just got some thread and a needle and we're just going to gather this. Oops, I always double my thread and then tie a knot in the end and then stick my needle through the loop just so it knots it good. And then I can really pull on it when I want to tighten this after. So you just go in and out all the way around your circle. As close to the outside as you can. My cardstock circle here. Just peel a piece off. Stick that down. That should with adhesive. You know what? I might get some on the other side as well make this easier to work with. I'm going to be wearing most of this. <laughs> okay. So, I'm going to trim that, that a little smaller. You don't want too much sticking over the edge. Okay. Set that piece in there. Push that in and then I'm going to pull your fabric, stuff your batting a little. So you kind of only want your fabric sticking on here. 
we can get that a little tighter. There. And get that as tight as you want. And just do a couple more loops to keep it there. You don't want to go too tight because then it'll flatten your circle. Oops. Trim your thread. And I got fuzz all over everything. Peel the backing off your magnet. Line that up. little pin cushion. Put your little pins in there on your fridge or whatever else you want to do with it. And let's see, I think I might want a bow on there. Just so it matches with the rest of our fridge set. And this is kind of an ugly side so I'm going to put my bow right there. that the ends in and then just make a little knot in the surface and then just stitch my bow on and cushion. So once you get your bow all stitched on, knot your thread and then just stick it back through to get rid of your end. up a little.